So The Rock did a promo. Um, he came out on Twitter and started talking about Cody, uh, the Crybabies, Cody Crybabies, and Seth Rollins. So I'm going to watch it, and then I'm going to make a video and show you guys it. Uh, so here it is. And we're going to break it down. So we're going to we're gonna talk about the Crybabies. He talked about the Crybabies, so let's see. Let's go back and listen to it. See so right here, he talks about all the Cody Crybabies are here. All the Cody Crybabies out there still running their mouths that The Rock has got and to deal with. he talks about the jabronis. All the jabronis in the locker room still running their mean mouths again, the Cody Cry Babies. That the Rock has still got to deal with. Cody Crybabies. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm not going to talk about this video right Take, here. So Just... you see, this is the level of absurdity and bullshit that The Rock has got to deal with. Talks about the Rock like a doesn't podcast. know who that guy is. So, so The Rock is basically saying people are saying that he took over because it was a podcast that because he's the head of the board, he was able to wrestle. But he explains here why he rest, he's going to wrestle Roman Reigns and, and Cody accepted that. So let's get into this. So he's basically telling the Cody Crybabies what really happened. So let's check it out right here. And to all the Cody Crybabies who are grown ass men who think you know it all when you don't know shit. You listen up to The Rock right now. It has nothing to do with the board. It has nothing to do with the fact that The Rock owns everything as it relates to The Rock, the people's champion, full ownership, which means The Rock is the boss. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do so here's, with common sense. So he said the common the sense. Rock drops some gospel he tells you what happened here's right here. Watch. Sense. When Roman Reigns, years ago, dropped the words, head of the table. Those words were specifically and solely set up and created so one day Roman Reigns, the champion of the WWE, would come face to face with his cousin, The Rock, the people's champion, and together, combined, they will make the biggest WrestleMania. So what he's saying is that they already, the like, biggest match made this for years the that they were going to have this big match it's over, it was already planned they're going to have this match they're going to have the rock versus roman and this was the year they were going to do it so let's keep listening because that is roman so now he's talking about the cody story where he brings up the cody story so rock and roman we're going to wrestle that's the story so then he brings up cody's story that was last year so let's hear what he says What's the technical term? It's oh, he shit the bed. He lost. To show you, he just lost. So why are we doing this again? He just lost. On January first of this year, it's a big year. You know it, and the Rock knows it. It's an exciting year. You can feel it in the air. You can feel the model. So he's setting up how it started, like the match. They already had the match planned for years. And then he comes back January 1st to set up the match. The match was going to happen. So let's keep listening to it. Because we had an agreement. And that agreement was The Rock was going to go out there and he was going to test the waters. And he was going to see how the crowd reacted. Where should The Rock sit? You remember. Should The Rock sit at a booth? Mm. Crowd didn't know where I was going. Should The Rock sit at a bar? Ah, oh, bigger reaction. Yeah, The Rock loves a bar because The Rock loves him some tequila. Or So he's saying he had an agreement that he was going to test the water, see what people wanted, the get the reaction, and go from there. So I'll see the, fa the cr fans are cheering. Look, this is my name right there. It says, hi, Daniel. That's my name. Hi, yeah, Daniel. That's pretty funny. I think it's pretty funny. The world exploded because they knew after all these years, they were finally getting The Rock vs. Roman Reigns, the biggest WrestleMania of all time. And what happens? Cody Rhodes, he wins the Royal Rumble. Fair and square, works his ass off, and he wins that Royal Rumble, baby. Yeah, he's going to WrestleMania. Yeah, good for him. Good for him. The Rock was happy. 
But what happened? The Rock called Cody Rhodes, had a conversation. But it was a conversation that a few have had with Cody Rhodes before. Because Cody knew the biggest match of all time was looming. The Rock talked to Cody and said, Cody, you know, you love this business. The Rock loves this business. You were born into this business. The Rock was born into this business. Roman Reigns was born into this business. Oh, so I don't think I was recording. So this business. that's know, the match I wanted. People wanted the match. I think they just announced they're going to have a tag team match with Cody you have an on nine, night one. So we got to, I'll make a video on that, but let's continue this video. You can always, with all due respect, finish your story another time. Okay, so right here he t talks about how he, Cody, agreed. So The Rock was happy that he won, but right here, watch. He says he talks to Cody, and Cody agrees to accept him to fight Roman for the for for WrestleMania because it's good for business. Good man. Good man. And then what happened? In Birmingham, Alabama, a city we selected because of its rich history, and we knew we were gonna make history. It was your job, Cody, to introduce The Rock, thus setting up the biggest main event of all time. And what'd you do? You did exactly what we agreed on. Brother, you introduced The Rock, and that place went crazy. And The Rock came out, and he dapped you up, he pulled you in and gave you a big hug, and I whispered something in your ear. Let's put on the biggest WrestleMania of all time. Let's do it for the American dream. Let's do it for the soul man. See, he even tells them you can finish your story another time. And, and right here, Cody agrees. He accepts. On live TV. So let's watch right now. And you turn back and you looked at The Rock. And instead of looking at The Rock saying, yeah, go get him. Let's make history. See, he agreed. He agreed. Instead of that, what'd you do? You gave The Rock a look. And it's the same look See, you gave the best world. Business. Like the rock went out and ran over your goofy ass dog. That's the look you gave. Like the rock ran over. See? Then sometime. So that's why the Cody probably shouldn't get mad because he agreed. And he didn't, Vegas, didn't agree because when they go to Vegas, right here when we see it. You know what? He... Saw him Las Vegas. He tells him, um, like away. he says he could have told him something right here, but he didn't tell him nothing. Did you Watch. Say to the rock there? Hey, Rock, I got something on my mind. Yeah, tell me about it. Hey, Rock, I got something that's eating me up inside. Cody, go ahead. Tell me about it. Let's walk over there. Let's talk in private. Come and tell me about it. Did you say any of that? No, you didn't say a thing. But what'd you do? You waited until Roman Reigns walked out there and announced he's facing the rock. Then the rock went out there, showed the entire family tree. Proof of the most dominant family in perfection. He doesn't say nothing, and then, you know, and then the whatever happened, he slapped them. People are saying that they didn't, they, he didn't talk smack to, to the Rocks family. He did, like right here. It is, no, he didn't, no, he didn't. Shut your mouth. You talk shit about my See? family. See? What'd you call him, Cody? It's not a family. They are right here, let's but see. Lackeys, but yes, right here. Men, they're goons. Then you spoke. About Roman's grandfather, and you spoke about my grandfather. See, he slapped them. Peter, my but he slapped them because what he said, watch. Was here. Watch, he slapped him because what he said right here. Let me take it. Was here. Look, right here. They'd be ashamed of you. I did to you, Cody Rhodes, in that moment. What I would do to you a million times would just slap the taste right out of your mouth. <laughs> And then what happened? And then what happened? So that's so that's why he slapped him. And then he talks about Seth, like Seth got involved. Let's see where it's at. I think it's like right. Hold on, I'm gonna try to find it. Said it to you then. I'll say it again. I'll say it forever. Talk shit about my family again, and I'll do worse than that. But then what happened? Your new best friend. You got a new best friend. How about that? So he basically you tells Seth that he's talking you know, smack. Um, what did Seth do? The he's the head of the board. He can do whatever he wants That's right here. So, so Seth tries to get involved. 
So let's check it out right here. You don't want any of this. The Rock doesn't know you. You don't know The Rock, but you don't want to know The Rock in that way. This is none of your business. The Rock doesn't know. Seth. So right here, he talks about walking Seth clown. See. And Seth is getting involved. The Rock has no idea why this man is getting in our business, but he did. And not only that, but then he just can't help himself. Like a lot of the jabronis in the locker room just can't help himself and start talking shit about The Rock. Take a look. Yeah, he's going to open his mouth. He's going to run his mouth. He's going to say the same crap he's been saying for the last two decades because he can't come up with any new material. Um, but the bottom line is, and I've said it before, he's just, he's an afterthought. This is our story. It's our era. We built the last decade of WWE, this Elimination Chamber show, WrestleMania, the biggest ever. We built it. So I hear he talks so he shit. Come in, he can get what he wants. He can take his little piece, Ooh. and then he can go back to Hollywood and do his <laughs> thing. Because we got this thing, but we don't need you, big guy. <laughs> you don't need The Rock, huh? Rock, we don't need you. You don't need The Rock. <laughs> If you were a little smarter, Seth, you'd realize how stupid you sound. Let The Rock drop some gospel on your goofy ass. You need The Rock in ways that you can't even imagine. So he basically says that he's like the main boss of TKO and that he's in his, he can do whatever he wants. So that's basically it. It is pretty long. I'll make shorts and hopefully you guys like this video. So yeah, it was pretty exciting. Like 21 minutes long. You guys can watch it on his his account on X, and uh, I'm kind of pumped right now. I'm reading that they set up a match for WrestleMania. I'll make a short on that. It sounds like so there's the Bloodline versus uh, Seth and Cody. So I'll make a video on that. Hope you guys like this video. If you do, please like and subscribe. I'll keep making more later. Peace out.